क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट रीड्स देयर इज अ नैरो ब्रेज ऑन वेयर ऑन अ रोड कनेक्टेड टू टाउन टू कार्स ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द टाउन टू द अदर विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड वी वन एवरी वेयर ऑन द रोड एक्सेप्ट ऑन द ब्रेज वेयर द ट्रैवल विद एन अदर कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड वी टू हाउ द सेपरेशन एज बिटवीन द कार्स वेर इज विद टाइम टी एज शोन एज बीन शोन इन दिस फिगर we need to answer v1 v2 and the length of the bridge so let's read this graph this is graph of separation versus time so initially for 10 minutes or 10 seconds the separation remains as one which is 500 meter then separation decreases to 200 and after t2 that is 30 second it remains s2 that is 200 meter and after 80 second it increases and then becomes again 500 so let's see like this uh, situation this is a town a uh, from where it has to go and this is b town where they are reaching c and d this is the bridge so we will say this this from uh, let's say t1 to t2 that's a relative motion in which one car is moving uh, in bridge another car is moving on a road so the average speed can be calculated or uh, average speed can be calculated by using the slope right so v2 minus v1 is going to be the average velocity or speed you can call and uh, that must be the slope that is between 10 to 30 seconds and the slope we can easily measure from this diagram so you'll find v2 minus v1 is going to be equal to minus and then this is going to be s1 by s s1 minus s2 divided by t2 minus t1 so that will be the expression for a uh, relative velocity you can call or this will be a relation in which v1 and v2 will be connected together s1 s2 t1 t2 both are uh, these all are known to us from this figure now here is a one equation and there are two unknowns v1 and v2 so we need to find one more equation for that sake we will be using this graph furthermore now the first car reaches the bridge now you read uh, this thing when when the separation was 500 meter that means both were moving with the same velocity so relative velocity was zero at this point t1 time one the first car reaches to the bridge so that velocity decreases so as that velocity decreases so this there is a relative velocity coming in right so that means at equal to t1 uh, the first car reaches to the bridge and that will say the distance covered by the first car is going to be like x x1 is equal to v1 t1 this is the distance traveled by the first car before it reaches to the bridge now similarly we can find the second car reaches to the bridge where so till then you will find uh, one car was on the bridge and the second car was on the road after t2 time then there's again average velocity zero that means both the cars are now on the road uh, this bridge so that means second car reaches to the bridge at t2 time second car reaches the bridge in t2 time so how long it has traveled it has traveled s2 is equal to v1 because it was running on the road so v1 velocity into t2 time now this is uh, the distance traveled by the first car to reach the bridge this is the distance traveled by the second car to reach the bridge from the figure we can think of that the separation between the two cars must be 500 meter that is s1 when they were traveling on the road right so that means we will say x2 minus x1 will give us s1 that is uh, separation so x2 minus x1 is basically v1 t2 minus v1 t1 is equal to s1 so from here we can find this v1 so v1 turn out to be s1 divided by t2 minus t1 so this is one of the expression for, uh, for this is one expression a final expression for the speed v1 of the cars on the road so that's a part answer and we can put the numerical values to get the numerical answer so that will s1 is 500 this is 30 this is 10 so you'll find this is going to be 500 by 20 that turn out to be 25 meter per second now once we got this v1 as this expression we can substitute on this to get the expression for v2 so v2 will be v1 minus s1 minus s2 divided by t2 minus t1 then you'll find that this uh, v1 is s1 divided by t2 minus t1 so when you write it then you'll find this first will get cancelled out or you'll find s1 will get cancelled out it will be like s2 divided by t2 minus t1 so this is the expression for the speed of the cars on the bridge and that after calculation comes out to like 200 divided by 30 minus 10 which is 200 by 20 that's 10 meter per second so on bridge the speed of the cars is 10 meter per second on the road the speed of the cars is 
this 25 meter per second. Now the third part is asking what is the length of the bridge. Now you'll need to let's check uh, up to which um, the uh, cars are moving on this bridge. Let's say tower the first car. So first car enters the bridge at equal to T1 and it is on the bridge up to T2. Further it is on the bridge up to T3 and after T3 first car reaches to the road and the second car is still running on the bridge so that the relative velocity is there. So that means from T1 up to T3 first car was on the bridge. So first car has a velocity, uh, first car was on the bridge, first and second car both were moving on the bridge with velocity V2. So V2 is the velocity on the bridge and the time spent on the bridge is T3 minus T1. So length of the bridge will be V2 T3 minus T1. Now we can substitute the V2 expression that is this, so that will become S2 T3 minus T1 divided by T2 minus T1. So that is the expression for the length of the bridge in this particular case. Now you can put the value of this uh, uh, these numbers, so you'll get the numerical value. Now we have already calculated V2 as 10, so that's 10, and T3 minus T1, T3 is 80, T1 is the 10, so that's come out to 70. So you'll find 17 to 10, 700 meter. So the length of the bridge is 700 meter, and this is how we will get, uh, we, we got our first answer as V1, second answer as V2, and the third answer as length of the bridge. So these are our final responses. Thank you.